In the heart of Trump country, Texas, one city runs on 100% renewable energy, Georgetown, population 70,685. For Republican Mayor Dale Ross, the choice to go renewable was a no-brainer. It's still rare to find a place where renewables are the only source of energy, but Georgetown is a sign that it's possible on a small scale. At the state level, Texas is projected to get more energy from wind than coal by 2019. At a national level, the number of cities mostly powered by clean energy has doubled since 2015. In Georgetown, led by a very Republican mayor, Ross says well, it makes business sense. It was a business decision. So it's, it's really a no-brainer economically. We're able to sign contracts for 20 and 25 years. I mean, right now, wind's going for about $18 a megawatt compared to natural gas at 21 and coal at about $53. Cheaper electricity is better than more expensive. Less pollutants in the atmosphere is better than more. I can guarantee you pricing for 20 and 25 years. What's there to argue about? But what we do in the city of Georgetown is we put these silly national partisan politics aside and just make decisions that's best for the citizens that elected us to take care of them. And that, that's why we're known as the greatest city on planet Earth. The bottom line is, this is a red city with a green agenda. It's a surprising combination, but it works. We've already seen over 70 US cities commit to 100% renewable energy. So as climate change becomes a bigger issue in the coming years, more and more community leaders, like Mayor Ross, may start reaching across the aisle, framing the issue with a language that everyone recognizes, money. And for our, all the environmentalists out there, this is the way you win the argument. If you win the economic argument by default, you're going to win the environmental argument.